Hello and welcome to InstaBlog's Global Report. This is with many with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Story for the day are Norway no longer Sri Lankan peace mediator with LTTE. Four Lebanese soldiers killed in attack in Bekha Valley and political fervor reaches a new high in Afghanistan as August presidential elections near. The London government has told Norway that it will no longer accept its peace mediation with Tamils since it has failed to protect Sri Lankan interests in Oslo. Today, we may support Sri Lankan government's decision, especially then when the Tamil rebels are on the verge of defeat. This is Vignesh, citizen journalist, reporting on Insta blogs from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has acted wise in declining to accept any peace mediation with LTTE since it has failed to protect Colombo's mission in Oslo in the past. The step has sent a stern message to the Tamils who try to register protest with the Norwegian government by striking at its embassy in Colombo. Moreover, it makes no sense discussing peace deals with the Tamil rebels who are now on the verge of being routed by the Sri Lankan army's deadly offensive against them. No peace can be made with the Tamil rebels, especially at this point of time when the sacrifices made by our brave soldiers are about to get fruitful. Four Lebanese soldiers were killed when their vehicle was raped with bullets and blasted with a grenade in an apparent drug-related really ambush in Bekha Valley, a lawless region ruled by clans and long known as fertile drug-producing area. The Jawad Abuzarek provides us more from neighboring Jordan. Mrs. Rad Abuzarek, reporting for the Instablox from Jordan. A Lebanese army statement said that on Monday, at 11 a.m., an army vehicle was ambushed by armed men, resulting in the death of four soldiers and the injury of an officer. The attack took place in Baalbek, a main town in the Lebanese Bikha. Machine guns and rocket propelled grenades were reported to be used in the attack. After the attack, roadblocks were set up and patrolling increased in the area as the army was looking for whoever was responsible for the attack. Lebanese armed group Hezbollah urged citizens to cooperate with the Lebanese army in these times. In spite of the multitude of challenges faced by the country, Afghans are busy promoting the culture of democracy by holding rallies and demonstrations ahead of presidential elections in August. Sijay Kramadin Behram sheds light on the rallies being held in the troubled provinces of Banyan and Nagrahar. This is Kramadin Bahram from Kabul and Sablogs.com. With the date of the Afghan presidential elections closing up, Afghans are enthusiastically holding rallies and demonstrations in favor of their favorite candidates, thus promoting a culture of democracy in a war-torn nation. In one such show last week, hundreds of people gathered in Afghanistan's central Banyan province calling on former U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan, Zalmi Khalilzad, an American Afghan to stand for the coming presidential elections. Earlier, such meetings in favor of Khalilzad have also been held in Lashkarga, the capital of Taliban stronghold Helmand province of southern Afghanistan, and Nangarhar's provincial capital Jalalabad in eastern Afghanistan. Such rallies have also been reported from southern provinces, but in favor of yet another unconfirmed presidential candidate, Ali Ahmad Jalali. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlog be your choice. You can contact us at cjsinstablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Football Sports.